right here. Yep, that's a good look, right into the camera. So there we go. Yeah? Yep, we're good. Are you sure it's recording? It looks, is it red dot? Black? It's a red, yeah. It's a yes. Red, it's a red dot, yep. Red dot okay. is on there. Your lavalier's working? Yep, so mm -hmm. here's your sink. Okay. All right. That's how you'll know. That, okay. Okay. That works. Okay. okay. That way you can see that. You'll see it on Final Cut. And Jim. There you go. Oh, you'll see it on Final Cut Pro. I mean, you can see the. You can watch the audio form, and you'll see oh, those big you'll spikes. See spikes when they, yeah. You'll see that spike, and that'll help you line. You'll see that. You'll help. It'll help you line. Wow. You got tricks. That. That's not my trick. That's why Is you it? see the old clapboard. <laughs> That's what they came from? Yeah, because back then they had to sync it up. You know, now yeah. it's a lot more sophisticated. So now so now we have installation art. Now. Where where did that start? <clears throat> what, did, what is it? Uh well installation art is it's 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 typically three D, like sculptural, it typically fills a room or rooms. It's um Site specific, like it's made for that place, um, um, like it conforms to whatever is there. Like if there's columns in that room, it uses those columns. If there's windows, it may may or may not use those windows. I mean, it doesn't always use every element, but it's not sculpture, it's not painting, it's not photo. It's like the contents of this room. You could pick up the contents of this room and drop them into a gallery, and that's an installation piece. Um, often multimedia, oftentimes multimedia, um, um, usually always sculptural, uh, meaning um, 3D elements, 3D items, uh, usually more than one item. But it can also be, it can be very um, ephemeral, like Olafur Eliasson would do like steam, he did a rain room in um, Whitney or MoMA. Or maybe yes, up moment. You did a rain room where you know you there was I, I didn't go there, but I heard about it. There was just rain falling in that room, and people would go in there. He did a. Um, I did see this. He did an SF MoMA. He did a uh, a car like a BMW in a frozen room, and so the room was gigantic. Let's say it's nine by twelve, but I can't. That's his model. Let's say it's fifteen by fifteen, and there was a car in there, and it was very cold inside, like zero degrees or something uh, Fahrenheit and you would get like a one of these mylar blanket things or sheets and you'd walk in there and look at the car so that that I mean you know it's uh, you can go sculptured insulation can also be tricky like to me that feels like an insulation but I guess you could also make sense it's just a sculpture um, if you like think of Damien Hirst's sharks like the um, I can't remember the title, but you know that formaldehyde chart that is very famous. Um, you could say, well, that's a, um, a piece of sculpture, which is true, but it could also be an installation piece. So now we're getting into the weeds. It's a little tricky now. Where it started... Um, you know, probably like with Alan Caprow, Capro, Caprow, and um, Capro in the 60s when they were doing, ha I think 60s, maybe 50s, they were doing happenings. He, he's, the one, he's the one who's credited with inventing the happening, which is, you know, the happening like a bee in. It's like people just hanging around. It's like the beginning of performance art, kind of, although Dada people were doing performance art too. Um, so it really started in the 50s. And then there's land art, which is like, um, what, Demaria and, and 